What is up everybody? We are back with another video. I have no clue what's gonna go on today because I haven't planned anything. But right now I am going to Best Buy. I wanna get a tri new tripod for this camera because mine is worn out. I'm gonna get a Gorilla Pod. The one I had before, it works and I like it. Um, but the top piece is worn out. So the camera doesn't really stay still. So right now I'm not using a tripod at all, which is kind of weird because I mean, I'm I'm used to holding the camera because I used to use a small handheld camera. I just started my truck with the wrong hand. That was weird, but I'm used to, I was used to using a small camera. This camera is just a little bit bigger. Um, it's a little more chunky. So it's just a little, a little harder to hold on to. Not harder. It's just, I don't know. It's different. It's just a little more heavy, but so we're going to go get a new tripod for that, for this. Um, other than that, I have really no plans. I got to go to the bank. Definitely going to eat some food. What are you doing dog? I'm gonna go. I gotta go. I gotta go, gotta go. I've been at home all day, laying in the bed. I've been super lazy. So I was like, finally just had enough. I gotta get up, gotta go do something. So that's what we're doing. I haven't really planned anything, like I said earlier, but we're gonna figure something out. I've gotta eat some food because I'm hungry. It's almost noon and I haven't left my house all day. So let's do it. All right, I'm gonna go eat really quick. I'm gonna leave you guys in the truck and uh, I'll see you when I get back. See ya. I'm back. All right, so done eating. Now I gotta go to the bank and to Best Buy. Probably just skip straight to Best Buy. And to be honest, I won't bring you in because <coughs> I've said it in the past, I've had bad luck bringing cameras into Best Buy. So the first time I did, they thought I was stealing the camera. So I don't, I just don't bring cameras in the Best Buy anymore. So I will see you in just a second with a brand new tripod. All right, so I made it out of Best Buy. I didn't go get what I went there for. They didn't have the Gorilla Pod. They have the ones for the phone, like the little bitty short ones. So obviously that won't work. I want something bigger. I don't know why they don't carry the bigger one. I thought they did, but they don't. So that didn't work. Um, but I did buy something. I, I bought, I've been wanting to upgrade the speakers, my door speakers in my truck for forever. So I bought these. Um, they only had one set. I need another set for my back doors. Um, so they had these, I bought them. They were uh, 99 bucks. And um, so yeah, we uh, we may the rest of this video may be changing outdoor speakers. Um, but to do that, I have to remove my head unit, which I've never done before, ever. Um, so I don't know. I don't really. I haven't really decided yet if I want to try to do that myself. But uh, if I feel like it, then maybe we'll do that because these paper speakers that are in the doors, they sound like crap. All right guys, so I'm back at the house now and I went ahead and unpackaged um, these speakers, went ahead and just took everything out of the box. So here's the speakers right here um, and they have a giant magnet on them so everything metal sticks to them. So these, this is a, a plug in case I think you wanna go to an amp. I don't think we need those because I, I only have a mono channel, a single channel amp. So we won't be running these to an amp and I got some mounting screws I also don't know if we need those, so we're gonna put those to the side. It is very hot, I'm doing this in direct sunlight. I don't have a garage I can pull my truck into, so unfortunately I gotta do this right under the sun. So it's extremely hot. I'm probably gonna sweat, sweat right through this gray shirt, but um, here's the stock speaker right here. Um, and this is paper right here, the actual woofer part. It's like paper, so these, this is a nice, like, I get. I don't know what it is. I think it's like plastic. And uh, this is where it plugs into. This is the stock connector. That's why I have these, I think. Um, these go, let's see if I can find the connector plug here. Yeah, so this, this plug right here plugs into that. And then the other side of it plugs onto the speaker. So that adapts those speakers to the truck and there's there should be two of them in here um and i think that's that might be it i thought i thought it was requ you it was required that you take the 
uh, head unit out. And I could be wrong, but I don't think you have to now. Um, the, the people at Best Buy were implying that you had to take these out or the head unit out. But af <clears throat> after looking at these, um, I don't think you do. So that's a plus because I was worried about having to do that. So, all right, so I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing, but um, if the camera stops, the battery's either dead or the uh, the camera's overheated because it's sitting in my my hot truck. So we're going to look at the instructions, which, um, where did I see how to plug this up? There it is right here. So I shouldn't have ripped the bag right there. That was a mistake. There's a special plug. You have to plug the skinny one is negative. So one of these is bigger than the other. So the white one is is bigger and this is a neutral, I would have, no, this is a positive. White is positive, black's negative, and it's got a smaller plug. So you look on the back of the speaker, one of these is wider than the other. So the black one goes there, like that. And the white one goes here on the positive, just like that. That's on there, good. So now this, goes into the, and this is where it helps to have an extra set of hands, I think. This goes in the stock uh, port here. Make sure everything's lined up. We're going to try to slide this in. So yeah, see how that won't go in there? It looks like I'm gonna have to cut off these tabs right here. And uh, they are um, maybe in a loom, like a, a thin aluminum. Um, so that won't be a problem. I think I can cut those off, no problem. Uh, I'll either cut them off or just bend them out of the way. So I think I'm gonna try to cut them uh, just so I don't have to worry about them interfering with anything. I don't think it'll, it would be a problem. All right, so I've got these uh, sheet metal snips here. Uh, we use these for work. Um, you can get these at Home Depot. They're kind of expensive. Um, you, if you're just using them for this, you don't have to get the better, best quality ones, but the ones we use obviously cost a little more. We use them every day. So we want good quality, but if you don't want to buy these, then you can, I guess, just bend these tabs out of the way. I just prefer to cut them off just because you can get a closer, more precision cut, and they're... Uh, they're just out of the way really easily. So now I'm just gonna slide this out, slide this in there. That's a good fit. And I'm just gonna use, they provided screws with the speakers, um, but for simplicity, I'm just gonna use the stock, uh, the stock screws, um, just because I know they fit already, so. There's one. I don't think I'm gonna have to take out my head unit. I may have said that already, but the people, the people at Best Buy implied that I'd have to take my head unit out. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't see a reason that it has to come out because they just adapt the wire that's already existing for my speakers is just adapted to just that adapted to this, this speaker with the uh, that harness. So it's pretty much a plug and play thing. This harness is um, like $14 and these speakers were, um, I think 99. So, and you only, that's, that's for two. So for 200 bucks, a little over 200 bucks, including those harnesses. And you can do front and rear of this truck pretty, pretty easily because they're literally Literally just plug and play, and I think I think that's the way most speakers are. Um, but for some reason, I don't. I always like to ask questions because I don't know what I'm talking about with this stuff. So I ask people that know what they're doing, and they implied that that you needed. I think the socket. I said this, the. I said you needed a six, but I think this socket is just a hair too big because if you put any kind of torque. On it at all, the uh, 
the socket turns right around the screw head, so that's not good. The five was too small, so I gotta work on getting this out. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm sweating like crazy. My face is covered in sweat because I'm doing this in the full sun. Um, now these have a built-in tweeter right here, um, but these trucks have a spot. If you want to mount an aftermarket tweeter, you can put that right there. Um, since I don't have tweeter existing tweeters already, it was easier for me to buy these that have the tweeters built in because otherwise I'd have to run speaker wire for those. And for simplicity, I didn't want to do that, but it should sound good enough. We're going to pop this back on. This is just the stock cover. I have no clue how it goes on, so I'll probably break it, but we're just going to hit it really hard and hope that it goes on. All right, that's it. So I'm going to skip skip the other speaker. I'm just going to go ahead and mount it because it takes two seconds. I showed you guys how to do that one. And I'm going to give you guys a sound test um, with the two front speakers aftermarket. They're the kicker. I forget the name of them. K5. I'll give you the exact name. Um, that's just what they say. But then I have two um, stock speakers in the back because they didn't have, they only had two of those kicker speakers, so I couldn't buy them yet. So we'll have a kicker 10 inch um, RT subwoofer with the two kicker um, speakers I'm installing now. And that should be a pretty decent sound test for you guys. So if you guys are interested, I don't know. So I, this, this vlog has been kind of all over the place, but um, it is what it is. I had nothing to do today. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while. Today was a good day to do it because I was bored and I had nothing to do. So I'm gonna have to get that other speaker installed and I'll come back to you guys with a sound test. All right, so I've discovered something. If you guys have one of these trucks and you're doing this, the, um, the screw size is weird. I put a six on it, size six socket on it, and it, um, oh, I gotta get the socket. And I'm having a hard time getting the screws tightened down. So, and I'll, I'll explain why. I have to have this, let's see, I'll use this wrench and this adapt this extension here these are hot really hot so the six millimeter actually we'll go seven three seconds so it should be the standard the six i thought there was metric but the standard seven thirty seconds fits a little better on the screw but the tr problem i'm having is i can't get those screws tight enough because anytime you apply any kind of torque to these the socket turns right around the screw head and I can't figure out why. It just doesn't seem to fit very well. So what I'm gonna do, this will be a useful trick, something useful to know. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a piece of electrical tape and you can buy this anywhere. Um, Home Depot is the best place to look. Just take a little piece and I'm gonna stick it on the socket just like that. And we're gonna put it on the screw head and that'll that'll make up, all right, that's not big enough, not thick enough. So what, now I'm gonna double it. This'll help make up the distance that we lack or the space that we lack and because the socket is too small or yeah, too big. So put that on there. It's a little tighter. We're gonna try it one more time. The good, new, the good thing with this is you can, you can uh, doubled up was too thin still. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold it in half, then fold it in half again, and then uh, put that on there and see if that makes a difference. That allows us to get to get the, the screws tight. I really am having a hard time understanding why this socket doesn't fit, but it just, I don't know. Because the next size down from this, I think is a 3 16 and it's too small. It doesn't even go on the screw head at all. This goes on, but the second you apply any torque, it just turns right around the screw head. So this, it still slips a little bit, but that helps us grab 
that grabs on the screw a lot better. So now I was able to get those tight. So what I'm gonna do now is just pop this on, obviously. Make sure everything's lined up. And there you go. We are ready for a sound test. I'm gonna pick up all this stuff and uh, we're gonna start this truck because I want some air conditioning because I'm sweating through my shirt. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, we're gonna see what they sound like. Hopefully they sound good. All right, so I'm gonna use a website called epidemicsound.com. That's where I get all my music for uh, my, my videos. Um, this is royalty free, so I know I can play it for you guys. Um, and like I said before, I have a um, a 10 inch kicker comp RT subwoofer under this back seat right here in that box. I got two. Um, the rear door speakers are currently stock. I haven't gotten those yet. And then obviously we did the two kicker speakers up front. So I'm gonna play, let's see, let's go to, um, I don't know what to play. Let's do hip hop just because that's got a, a large, a pretty good range. And I don't know what to, what to do. Let's just see. Um, let's do this one. I haven't listened to these yet, so I don't really know. All right, so that was just a short, short clip there of uh, of the sound. The uh, the mid range is a lot better. Um, so, yeah, I think it was a good buy. Um, the uh, the tweeter sounded good, good high pitch, and uh, the mid range sounded really really awesome. So, yeah, overall I'm happy with it. So, I'm glad I did not have to ruin my head unit because that uh, <clears throat> I don't know what I've never done it before, so I don't know what that entails. I don't know how hard it is. And I didn't want to mess anything up. So, yeah, I'm glad it worked out. Worked awesome. So, that part of the vlog is over. And uh, I'm going to have to change my shirt because I'm sweaty. All right. So, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. Um, I got that project done with my speakers. I've been wanting to do that forever now. So, I finally got that done. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully... Um, you learn something from the speaker install, I don't know. And if nothing else, hopefully you enjoyed watching it. I don't know. You probably didn't. You're probably bored to death. But, I don't know. Can't please everybody. And the people that were looking for a speaker install, there you go. Maybe I helped you. Currently I'm getting my mail. And uh, I think I'm going to end this one here. Um, I think I'm going to go to the golf course. And maybe hit some balls. So that should be fun. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, um, yeah, I don't know. I'll see you next week. Peace.